Good morning my people, good day, good afternoon, good night, wherever you are in the world. Wish you guys a Merry Christmas when you come and a prosperous new year from Selvin Kitchen and family. Hope everybody is okay, everybody is staying safe, everybody have a good Christmas, it's a tough time out there. And good morning to all of my friends them who was in the hospital and everybody tried to recover. Um, I'm going to say a prayer for you guys. You guys can recover quickly. Go home to your family and enjoy the Christmas. I have one of my friends in America. She was in the hospital a couple of days, so couldn't eat nothing. So I want to shout out to my friend in America. Um, I'm going to say a word of prayer for you guys. So I wish if you guys can have a speedy recovery that you guys can have a good Christmas because you know that in this life we have to help each other and pray for each other we cannot live for ourselves alone because it's a tough world out there we cannot live for ourselves alone guys so today in Selvin Kitchen guys I have a nice big salmon over there so right there I'm gonna share the experience with you guys to how to Cut up a salmon to clean up the salmon already. Take out the belly already. Cause I didn't like the belly. I don't want to show that belly. So I'm gonna show you guys how I clean up the salmon, how I slice up the salmon because I'm gonna do a escobi salmon. I don't know if you guys ever have, have escobi salmon before. So what that I'm gonna do today in Selvin Kitchen. So welcome guys. I don't too long wake up. I was working last night. So before I do that. I'm gonna get a, a black bag like this. I'm gonna open it. I'm gonna spread it out because you don't want when you clean up your fish, it's going all over the place. So just get a nice bag like that. Hop in the rubbish bag. Just cut it open with a knife. It's a nice salmon here. Look at that nice big boy. Let me. Wash my hand and put on my glove before I touch it. I just touched it a while ago. So I'm gonna clean up this big boy and I'm gonna slice him up. I'm gonna wash him with some lemon or vinegar, any one of them. And then tomorrow now, I'm gonna slice him up and season up and let him marinate till tomorrow. And then tomorrow now, I'm gonna, just gonna prepare this nice salmon. I got kind of deep fried. I'm gonna cover some onion. Some carrot, some with some vinegar, and some pimento, and some scotch bonnet pepper. So it's an escobie style um, salmon fish we're gonna do tomorrow. So I hope you guys have a good Christmas. Even if anybody's sick, anybody's ill, try and pray for that person. Because as I said before, in this life we cannot live for ourselves alone. We have to live for each other. Because one man can't stand alone, my beautiful people. So right now, I'm just going to put on my gloves. So I'm going to clean up this nice big boy here. And now I'm going to do like him. Red snapper or parrot fish. But I find they have too much bone. The salmon is nice and juicy is not so many bone in it so you guys can try this could be salmon all right before i do that guys i'm just going to take out this big boy here put him right here get this out of the way lovely big salmon right over here people let's get that sharp knife guys all right before we do anything we're going to go inside of it already Clean up some of it already, but you have one and two things in here need to come out. We don't want that, so we'll get that out. So if you guys can see properly what I'm doing there. I want to wake up with you now. Let me tilt it a bit that you guys can see this beautiful, nice, 
big salmon there guys we're gonna clean up this big boy and then I'm gonna slice him up and then I'm gonna fry it but I ain't gonna fry it today I'm gonna fry it tomorrow and um, some people eat turkey um I don't really fans of turkey who eat turkey good um that's your decision what you like but I'm gonna have some curry goat Christmas without a curry goat for me is not a Christmas but everybody have them preference when they eat it for Christmas all right my beautiful people so we're gonna cut off this thing here we don't want that so we get that off get a sharp knife cut that right off so we don't want this on on it because we cannot eat this so this have to go we don't want that nice big salmon here people if you're looking at it already i already take out most of it already so all of this now we're just going to take off all of this skin here and everything like that we don't want that so we're going to clean it up properly and then we're going to wash him so it's a nice big salmon let's get the knife and just scrape it like that you want to get all of this out of it get a piece of um, a towel a kitchen towel so get a piece of kitchen towel so mean you scrape it out look at that beautiful nice big salmon here people as i said um we do the normal do like parrot fish or red snapper but they have too many bone my beautiful people too many bone too many bones in them you really don't want to eat in and then you have picking out picking out picking out picking out bone all the time and then if you have a kid you have to be careful you give a kid parrot fish or red snapper because a lot of bone in them so you have to take time and pick that out before so if you slice up this guys they don't slice it up too thick or too thin you have to slice it up fruit thin you get, when you're cooking you're gonna break when you're frying and if you slice it up too thick you're gonna take long to fry so i love salmon i've sat, eat salmon for the last couple of years and the first time i was eating it uh never find it too nice but as soon as I get used to it now, I say, oh my god, this is one of the best fish. It's one of the best fish. So all of this dry blood in it now, we're going to try and take out that. We don't want that in it. Just use the tip of your knife, stick down right down in it. And just scrape it right out. I hope you guys have a, a good Christmas and a prosperous new year. And 2022, everybody will grow stronger and better. So you, just, you, you want to scrape that right out of that salmon, guys. And we're going to go inside of that salmon. We're going to take out the gill. The best thing you do, just get a file paper or a plastic bag and spread over your counter because you don't want run is that a salmon to go everywhere so these are the gill what we have now we don't want that so we we'll take out the gill because the gill is a very the whole line right down in that fish so let's use a knife and let's take out that gill it's kind of like you're doing a surgery See, this is the 
the gill of the fish. The nail is shaped like a, a comb teeth. See that? A one layer, two layer, three layer, four layer, a gill in one side. You just take your time and clean up your fish properly, guys. I look out for some sorrel last night. I was gonna do a video with it, but I'll do a video another time. So I have my sorrel over there. I boiled my sorrel from last night. So you don't want to mix the sorrel at the same time. You boil the sorrel, keep it there, let it proper jar, let all of that ginger, everything just jar properly. Okay, you don't want to boil your sorrel and drink it at the same time. No, you don't want that. Leave the sorrel there, let it sit for a night before. So I boiled it from last night. So you're gonna stay till around tomorrow before I mix it. Or maybe later. Alright. I don't scale it as yet, and I'm taking out the the gill first before I scale it. I don't want to start scaling it now, and then it scales start to flash everywhere. See? Nice big salmon, my beautiful people. So I just go down in it now, take out all of that gill, cut it from the head around. Take out that gill properly. See, like the salmon head now. I'm gonna boil a nice soup with that salmon head. I have another salmon head in the fridge. So I'm gonna put them together. And I'm gonna boil a nice soup with that because you know that the salmon head don't have a lot of meat in it. So don't throw it away, guys. Cut it in two, wash it, put it in the fridge, and boil a nice soup with that lovely, delicious soup. I do a video the other day, guys, with a uh, Pumpkin soup. My god, that pumpkin soup was delicious. So now we're gonna scale this big boy now. The tip of the knife. And let's scale this big boy. Yes, so you guys can check out that, that recipe with that pumpkin soup. As I said, if you're at home and you feel like you want to drink some soup and you don't want to cook no meat, uh, you don't want to have any no meat in it, check out that recipe with that pumpkin soup, my beautiful people. Check out that recipe and you guys can tell me how that pumpkin soup turned out. Follow every step I put in that pumpkin soup, everything I put in it. And if you guys send me guys can do a little small video, a little 30 second video, a little 20 second video and send it to my, my email address is there and let me see how that pumpkin soup turn out. Beautiful, delicious pumpkin soup. I'm going to make some more maybe tomorrow. I have another piece of pumpkin in the fridge. My daughter said she wants some more. So I'm going to make another Beautiful pumpkin soup. So check out the recipe, guys. See, you know, if you're cooking, you're putting a flour, you know, if you're putting a yam, you know, if you're putting a this, you know, if you're putting a duck in it. Just follow that nice recipe with a pumpkin soup. Add your one potato, your carrot. In it, and everything in it, guys. Beautiful pumpkin soup. A lot of people don't like to scale fish. You have to have patience when you scale fish. You just take your time. You can't just rush it like that. You will hurt yourself. So when you're scaling fish, just feel relaxed. Just feel comfortable. If don't when you're stressed out, don't scale fish because you hurt yourself. You have some sharp thing here on the back, like the one of the fin. You have them spiking it. You have the teeth them. You have the sharp part around here with stick in your hand. You have this part and in it, the belly was running in your hand. So you have to be to relax when you're scaling fish. Don't rush. If you're upset, don't look, don't scale fish. Just take your time 
relax, just feel comfortable feeling your own a zone and scale fish. Don't scale fish when you guys upset, okay? you hurt yourself. So just take your time and just run that knife through and just get up that scale. Abila, remember when I was growing up, I used to scale fish. You know what I do, guys? I get a, a piece of board, get the buckle stopper, maybe the, the guineas or the any king, the cock of it, and a bore and put it on a piece of board, and I use it and scale my fish. And I basically use knife or nothing to scale fish. You use the buckle stopper, nail punching, two buckle stopper, three or three buckle stopper by one piece of board. I hold it and just scrape it like that. Yeah? Let's kill your fish. Wake up with you now. So what are you guys gonna have for Christmas? I know a lot of people having turkey. Most of my friends are gonna have turkey. But Turkey take too long to cook in my opinion. I uh, one thing I try, I try the turkey wings. I did do a recipe about the turkey wings, deep fried turkey wings, and it was quite nice. And I tried to heat the turkey one time and I don't know guys, I never too too funds of it and I never tried it again. Want to with me and the people, when I come out with food, I'm very funny. A lot of people stay like that. So much scale, come on for this people, I don't even finish one side as yet. Just use the tip of the knife, put a little pressure on it, because you don't have to worry about the salmon. The salmon is a very tough fish, the skin. It ain't gonna break up like that quickly. So let's give it a nice kill like that. So I want to shout out to anyone who check in today. I cannot see the comment in my seat, my beautiful people. I'm going to invest in a good camera in the new year. But for the time being, you guys bear with me. Oh, look at that. A lot of scale is coming off. You don't want to eat your fish and then you're eating fish scale people. So try your best and get off 99.9 percent .9 of the scale off of it. Every single one. You don't need to try and get off. Maybe one will miss you, you know. You never know. So we are human, remember? You say you're gonna scale up and maybe one will slip slip through that security net of yours. So just try and get off. 99.9% .9 of it, but maybe one of them will slip, slip and escape from you. But you don't want to eat fish and then the scale is coming off. It's this fish scale is there. Nah. Just take your time and scale him right through. I wanna wake up with you now. As I said before, Merry Christmas to everyone. Merry Christmas to everyone who celebrate Christmas. A lot of people don't celebrate Christmas. But who celebrate Christmas, Merry Christmas to everyone. And a prosperous new year when it comes from Selvin Kitchen. I wish everyone have a beautiful, wonderful Christmas. No matter what the circumstances is, try your best. Even if you have a pound of flour, a pound of rice, or a tin mackerel, or a canned beef, or a couple of eggs with some rice, just try and make what you have. Yeah, try and have and use what you have.
sure you was a happy people to feel comfortable. So maybe I'm eating fish and you're eating a pound of rice with some tin mackerel or a sardine or a something and you feel comfortable more than me. You see what I'm saying? So use what you have and feel happy what you have. One day the Almighty God will provide something for you. Nice big boy. I need, to, I need to finish this side. This side around 85% finish. You have to go right at the head. Got a lot of scale. Right at the head. And I need that. When I have the fin, just lift up that fin, pull it back, and scale right underneath it. See, that's why I put a bag, people, because it's scale with a flash everywhere, and I don't want that. And normally, if you're scaling a smaller fish, I know you just put, put the, the fish into the bag. You don't take out the fish out the bag, and then you just scale it right in the bag. So the scale don't flash all over your kitchen. Normally, you can scale it outside, but bloody cold out there so you don't want to go outside in that cold so right now I'm going for the tail now the tip of the tail comes st stroll it right down One thing with the salmon fishing of people, um, if you look at it, they have the scale of the same color like the fish, silver and gray, dark gray. So you have to, maybe you think that you scale up all of the scale of the fish now, but the color of the fish which are the same color with this, with this scale. So it will trick you. Yes, beautiful. So I nearly finished that side. See so if you guys can see properly what I'm doing there. But I said I hope you guys have a beautiful, beautiful Christmas. Beautiful Christmas, my beautiful people. Big shout out to anyone who check in today in Selvin Kitchen. Thank you for the support. Thank you for the love, guys. I love you guys very much. Because, you know, in this life, we cannot live for ourselves alone. We have to live to help each other, to support each other. Yeah. There are yeah, some people, you know, my beautiful people, there are some people very unfair. All right, there yeah, are some people on YouTube very unfair. Because you visit them, give them the support. And then you never see them visit you and give you the support. And you support them for so long. But such is life. Some people stay like that. Or maybe some people are busy. They don't, they don't have the time to get around to you. And then you have some people. You visit their house. You leave a, a package. You leave a banana. And then, then visit your house too. They leave a banana. And in a couple of days, then disappear. Then, then, they, then, 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 then take, take back the banana. But I don't really take back my banana. I still keep my keep my banana the same way. But there are some people stay like that. A lot of people. But so is life, isn't it? And say, so what is for you, is for you, can it be for Caesar? What is for Harry, can it be for Peter? So yes, my beautiful people, so this big boy now, give it a nice kill on this side. So this side, it's 99% finished on this side. Let's give it another touch right down. Just 
run the knife down like that. I just scroll it down. Okay, you wonder if any more scale and that. Don't worry about the skin and the skin is quite hard, so you can just put a little bit of pressure on it. Alright, so now I'm just gonna flick over this big boy now. Wow, that is that is a big fish. This is a big fish, my people. So this time now I'm gonna go for this from this tail I'm straight down. As I said before, when you're scaling fish, don't rush it, just take your time. Now you, you will hurt yourself. Number one, the fish is very slippery. You don't want to scale your fish and if the fish is dry, too dry, the scale hard to come off. So make sure your fish have a little bit of mash and a little bit of water on it. Like that. You see like that? It's wet, so the scale easy to come off. Don't dry your fish with a dry cloth or a dry towel. The scale very hard to come off. Don't let it dry too much. And, and get a knife where you can manage in your hand. Don't use a massive big knife. Because you want to use the tip of the knife. My beautiful people, it is coming off. Beautiful. Beautiful, my people, beautiful. As I said, guys, you have to have a little patience when you're scaling a big fish like this. You don't rush it. Just take your time and just work your way right down to the fish. It's hard work, but I'm telling you, the reward we're going to get from this. You're gonna, when you sit down and you're going to... Cut through this fish and eat this fish, you're gonna lick your fingers and say, Yes, that did work the to scale it. When you buy a fish in the market, in the people, and when you have your fish and you take it home and you say, Them scale it, then don't scale it properly. You have to go through that fish again and take your time and, and fine tune that fish because a lot of scale and that fish, same way. So that's why I like to. Prepare my fish myself because you know what you're doing. These people now they have so much fish on their hand to scale. They might 
and then give it to you and you think say you take it home and you cut him up and then you start to cook it no you have a lot of scale and that fish same way a lot of scale so don't think they didn't clean it properly so that's why when i buy fish i like to just take my time and and go through it and scale it. remember one time this is a long time ago i think i'd buy some red snapper and i was scaling the red snapper and i just want to finish the fish so quick and i was going through like that bam 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 i was scaling the fish quickly and then you know that red snapper have a lot of spike and it's one of the spiders run straight in my finger i'll never forget that and then my finger did swell up i have to go to the, the doctor So that's why I say you need to take it up uh, have a little patient when you're scaling fish. Don't rush it. Just take your time and just work your way down to the head from the tail. Like this now, we don't need that. We're gonna cut off this in a minute. Now this is bare bone, we don't want that. Mega mega shout out to everyone who check in today and self in kitchen guys. Don't forget that like button. Please give me a thumbs up. And if you guys can share the, the video, share it on your WhatsApp, on your Facebook, on your Instagram, on your YouTube. Share it home with your friends and family. Tell everybody to check out self in kitchen. Okay, you know that guys when they come out to self in kitchen we're always doing something new we don't come with the same old same old i like to show you guys what i'm doing from scratch so you guys can see what i'm doing i don't like to cut out this and cut out that you guys don't see 85 percent of the things what i'm doing i like to show you guys from scratch so you guys have an idea what i'm doing So I'm working my way from the tail to the head. Let's take off some of the scale off of it and just put over there that you can see what you're doing. I see one guy was like in those scale fish for a living, it was in the market, and it's a hard work. I'm trust me, I pity for the guy, but you have to do what you have to do. I don't discriminate, no job, every job is a job. You have to respect everybody, job what they're doing. Yeah, everybody could be a millionaire if everybody turned a millionaire, you wouldn't have nobody to clean the street. We don't have nobody to cut the bush. We don't have nobody to make the road, to patch the roads. Them and them, them break up. Everybody couldn't be a millionaire. We all need a little bit of money, yes, that we don't have to work so hard. But sometimes a person has to do what they have to do. But look at me. I work at night. I wish if I could have sleep in my bed at night. But I have to do what I have to do. I'm working at night for the last 18 years. 18, 19 years I'm working night shift. And then say so long when you work night shift, you lose 15 years of your your life or your lifetime. But what you can do, you try and feed your body properly. And try and take some vitamin. So that's why I like to cook at home. I like to heat what I cook. 
So if you work your night shift, you know that you lose your night rest. And number one, if you have kids to take kids to school, you have to have those couple hours sleep. Then you have to get up back to go to work, look for something to eat. So when you have kids and you do a night shift, it's not easy, my people. But you have to do what you have to do. Right, last night, I worked last night, and I come in this morning, and I decide I get a couple hours sleep, and then I have this fish, and then I say, all right then, let me clean up this fish and prepare for tomorrow, because I don't want tomorrow come now, and I'm rushing to do everything. So I just clean up this fish, I have my goat over there to clean up when I finish. So my fish is... 98% fin ink and scale already. Let us add a go through it again. From the tail. Let's give it a fine tune that if any, it didn't miss any scale. It look good, look good my people, look beautiful. Look at this lovely big boy, right? Eh? Look at that, nice. So like this fin, you know, we don't want that. We're gonna cut this off. Cut this right off, we don't want that people. We don't need this. So we get rid of that. Then you check right underneath that fin, like I said before, check right underneath it, give it a nice scrape down and just check it. If any scale you just use a knife and just scrape down like that, there's a nice big salmon. Like this other fin here, this is the dangerous one, this one having a big spike in it. It's two underneath here. So these two big spikes here, right, right here. It's one of these ones that's running my hand when I'm cleaning that red snapper. So if I know I'm preparing fish, I always cut them off. That's uh, so my time is here so to learn. This is the danger part here. This one right underneath here. This one did run right in my finger. Yep. So, so if it's so big now, you have to take time and maneuver it. So we get that off. And then we're going to get off the back fin. We don't want that. Get that right off. This is the hardest part to cut. It's like that, people. We don't want this to eat. We get that off. And this little part here on the tail right down here. We just want that. We don't cut that right off as well. We don't want that. And underneath it, you have another fin right underneath that tail. We don't want need that need that we could get that right off. So that's gone. We don't want that. To get that off. Marissa? You're right, my baby? Give me a second here, guys. My daughter calling me a minute. Okay, pleasure, thanks. 
Yes, my beautiful people. So now I'm just going to take time, cut off all of that thin. So I get, get all of that off. Then I'm going to give him a nice wash now. The tail part here, I'm just going to cut off the tail. I, I don't, ain't going to fry the tail and the head. Because the head, I'm going to use the head to boil some nice soup. So let me go back inside of it now and check in the belly of it. Yeah, look all right, my people. So that's gonna give him a wash. But let me get these out of the way first. And you forget all of these out of the way. When you're scaling fish, number one thing. Get them out of the way, don't put them in the bin inside of your house, cause your house will smell. So I'm just gonna get these out of the way, guys, before I do I wash up that wash that salmon. I wanna wake up with you. All right, my beautiful people. So all of this, we get this out of the fish, the gill, the scale. So we're going to get that out of the way. Get a knife like that and run it down, get up all of that excess scale off of it before you put in to wash him. Oh, this is heavy. So we get rid of this. So I'm gonna add another one there on the, on the table, a cleaner one. So when I wash it now, I'm just gonna put the salmon, I'm gonna dry him. Big shout out to anyone who check in today, guys. Wish you guys a Merry Christmas and a prosperous new year. Because tomorrow I'm gonna prepare this salmon here, guys. I'm gonna prepare him. Whee! Can't wait to prepare. But now I ain't gonna put on the gloves again. It's gonna deal with him now. Get some of this scale out of this sink here. What do we fish in the people? Fish carry a lot of scale. But it's very tasty, very delicious. I'm thinking about to do a, a recipe for fish. Well, I have two ideas in my head. But I don't know which one to do as yet.
not with the salmon, like with a red snapper or a, a parrotfish or something like that. With the scale and fish people, they try and don't make the scale go down in your sink because you don't want it to block it up. So that's what I'm doing now, I'm trying to take the scale out of the drainer. You're gonna get maybe a couple go down in there, but the bigger ones, then please don't make it go down in there, you're gonna block up your sink. I think I'm just gonna put, put it in there like that. Cause have a bigger bowl for wash that. I'm gonna add some water into this and then I'm gonna put the salmon in and I'm gonna give him a nice wash with some vinegar. I think I'm gonna use lemon, not vinegar. Because you know that vinegar pre pre cook your food or pre cook your meat. Alright, I don't wanna to add too much water in it guys, it's a big fish. So I'm gonna add some lemon. You can use the lime instead if the lemon, if it cannot get the lemon, use the lime or the lime juice or the lemon juice, anything. So now I'm just going to take out this big boy, you know. I'm putting this lemon juice here. I'm gonna give him a nice wash. I'm gonna wash him off properly. The most important thing you want to get inside of that fish. You want that lemon juice to go right in the belly of that fish and wash all of that dry blood out of that fish. You like that? The dry blood? Try and get everything out if you can. And then you're going to the head of the fish. And then after, you just get your knife again, just give it a little, run a knife over it, so that any excess scale where you did miss before, like when you're washing him now, just give your knife and just run over it, that if you miss any scale where you want to scale in it, see it, I missed a couple right there, just run it over your fish again. But it's a big fish, so hard to maneuver. Just run your knife down there like that, guys, and just if any excess kill it, you just get him right off. All right, that's fine. That's a good job. Good job. Good job, good job, Mr. Robinson. Good job. See like that, my beautiful people? Just run a knife over them again and mess up the kitchen with that. Alright, look at that. This is a heavy fish, a lot of weight. So I'm gonna give him one more rinse.
So if you guys can see properly what I'm doing there, because when you guys see properly, it, I'll wash it with some lemon, and then I'm gonna give him a second rinse. Oh yes. So now I'm gonna try and drain off all of that excess water off of that fish now. So what we're gonna do now, we're just gonna use the knife because the salmon skin in it looks like sponge. You suck up a lot of water, just use the knife like that and just run the knife down. And scrape all of that water off. You see that people? There's a lot of water in that salmon skin. Because the salmon skin is called like sponge, you suck up a lot of water. So use the knife and just scrape it right down. And get all of that excess water off of that salmon. Turn it around. I'm telling you, this fish is heavy. Scraping down like that, all of that excess water for that salmon skin. Like I said before, guys, the salmon skin can like a sponge, you soak up a lot of water. They okay, don't want when you're frying your salmon and you put your salmon in the pot to fry, the hile is gonna splash up and burn you. So, you want to get up all of that excess water for that salmon. All right, that's it. What I'm gonna do now, I'm just gonna dry that salmon. Just sop it like that. You wanna sop with a lot of water. I'll try and get up most of the excess water if you can. There's so much water come off of that salmon skin. As I said before, the salmon skin felt like a sponge guy, it suck up a lot of water. Then we're gonna go in the belly of the salmon. You wanna try and get much of that water off of that fish. As I said guys, if you're gonna clean up the salmon, you have to have a little bit of patience. That, that, this way, when you're doing it, when you fry it, it's a lot easier. The oil don't splash all over the kitchen. Because you take off all of that excess water, because when you're frying your fish, you're gonna make your oil very hot. So if your oil hot, and then you have water on your fish, and the water touch that hot oil, you're gonna get burned. So we don't want that to happen. So that's how we try and eliminate most of the water off of the salmon. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. This is a nice, beautiful fish, my beautiful people. You see that? 
nice beautiful nice and clean scale it inside of it clean everything clean the water is dripping off of it get try and get out all the most of that water off of that fish beautiful beautiful salmon imagine you cook a fish like this and have it in your hand and it <laughs> so now that salmon gonna get sliced up gonna slice him up before I do anything I'm just gonna get up the tail I'm gonna slice from the tail go straight down to the head because I'm gonna deep fry my fish. So this is the tail. You don't have to throw with this, you know. When you're frying your, when you're gonna boil your salmon head soup, adding this with it as well, it give it a nice flavor, give it that soup, that nice texture, that nice taste. So we ain't gonna throw with this. We're gonna keep the head. We're gonna keep the tail, and we're gonna do something with that, guys. All right, so we're gonna slice the salmon. Let me zoom down on this, let you guys can see properly what I'm doing there. If it's too far, so we're gonna, just gonna zoom down on that, and then we're gonna slice up the salmon. I think I'm gonna turn it this way that you guys can see properly. All right, we're gonna turn this way. So this is the first part, this is the tail part. We don't want to get it bigger than this, or thicker than this. So we're gonna have that in a bowl over there. Next part. You forget a sharp knife now, guys, because if you put too much pressure, and the salmon, when you cut in the salmon, the salmon gonna pulp right out. Looking like it's it breaking up, so you don't want that. So just get a sharp knife and try and hit the giant of the salmon when you're cutting it. Just take your time, don't put too much pressure on it when you're cutting salmon. So yeah, you want to get that nice texture. Okay, if I force it too much, right here the salmon gonna pulp out like that when you're cutting it and you don't cut it properly. So take your time when you cut it. Get a sh try and get a sharp knife as you can. And just take your time and work it right, right through it. Beautiful. Take your time and cut that skin. Don't brush it. Take your time and slice through that salmon skin. You don't want to cut your fish and break up your fish. Because if you cut your fish and break up the fish now, when you're gonna fry it, your fish is gonna, it's gonna break up right in that pot. Just take your time and just cut right through that salmon, guy. It's not a small fish. So I'm saying, my beautiful people, look at that. You wanna get it like that. You wanna get everything like that. Just take your time and the first, that's first layer of skin. As long as you get the first layer of skin and you go down to that bone, you can put a little bit of pressure on it. But don't put pressure on it till you feel that bone. When you feel that bone, you can put a little bit of pressure on it. Keep it on right here. Okay, you don't want the meat of the salmon to pulp out like that when you're cutting it. So just keep it on, on that bone and then you put a little bit of pressure on it. 
and then you can cut it right through. Beautiful, my people. Beautiful piece of fish. The color, beautiful with that bone in the middle, with that white line there, a little bit of fat there. Beautiful piece of fish. Beautiful. Just take your time and just cut your way right through that fish. Don't rush. Okay, if you rush it, you're gonna hurt yourself and then you're gonna damage that fish. So take your time and just slice through the fish. The bigger you get, okay, you're moving from the tail, come straight to the head. So the big the more you go down, the more difficult to cut because the bone a little bit more bigger. You just take your time and work that knife. Work that knife gently through that fish. Gently through that fish. You don't want to put too much pressure on your fish because you don't want to break up your fish. But gently through that fish. Sooner as they get that bone, you put a little bit of pressure on it. Not too much pressure. You see like that? The bone is getting bigger now. So you just put a little bit of pressure on it. Like that. Soon as the slide through that bone, just take up a knife and just mark it just like that. You don't want to cut it no more like that. Just mark it. Beautiful. Beautiful layer of fish. Lovely. Still have a lot to do, people. I reach around halfway, but the hardest part, the more you go to the head. You just slip it right down like that. that you can see what you're doing don't put don't squeeze the meat too much because you don't want the meat to, to mash up just kind of hold back the meat and just put a little bit of pressure on it use your tooth finger to hold that bone to keep that fish from move and then you can put a little bit of pressure on it now and as soon as you eat that bone release that knife and just cut right through that fish Wow. See what I'm talking about, my people? Beautiful. Beautiful. And there we go again. Separate it, use your hand, separate it, hold that bone. Salmon skin is very hard, but the meat is very delicate. Because if you don't know how to cut the salmon, you're gonna break up all of this meat gonna break up. You have to know to cut the salmon. So we'll just take time, work our weight right up to the head. You don't want to cut it too big. You don't want to cut it too small. But as I said before, if you cut it too small, when it's frying, it's going to break up. 
so you want to cut it in a nice size where you cut off the fin right here you just hold it back a bit hit that bone oh yes oh yes my people look at that beautiful beautiful so we're going straight up to the head and that's a man up here we have a lot of meat up here people a lot of meat up here right up to the head as i said before i'm going to use that head to boil some soup one of this day i'm going to show you guys so just take your time mark that first layer of skin okay the skin is quite hard the more you go to the head turn over your knife cut it like that the back of the fish and then the most hardest part to cut is that bone if you can get that giant like that Right in the middle of the giant, it's easier. Beautiful. I'm gonna heat some fish tomorrow, people. If God spare my life. You just burst the back of the fish right down to that bone. After you just spin over the knife, you just burst that layer of skin with that fish at the top. As soon as I go right down in it, watch your finger. Yes, I feel it fly right through that bone there, guys. Beautiful. You can name this salmon steak. <laughs> Look at that, guys. You can name it as salmon steak. Like you cut it, you now you could treat it a little bit of care because you don't want to handle them too rough in your hand. You don't want to break them up. You want to keep them intact. Come here, baby. What are you running away for? That, that bone. See, that's like through that bone. That's it. That's just the hardest part to, to get through this fish, the bone. But if you can get the joint, Yeah, I'm cutting it the wrong way because they cut it, put your hand under pressure on it, 
and then you're cutting it, the meat is going to fall right out. And you don't want that because, as I said before, salmon is a very del delicate fish. The skin a little bit hard, but if you put any pressure on it, meaning that you cut it already, it's just going to break up that meat. Oh yes, beautiful, beautiful my people, it's a lot of fish, I wish a few guys was here, that if we can have some together, nice cup of lemongrass tea, a nice glass of wine. Oh yes, when you season up this properly, let it marinate and then you fry it in some deep aisle dry, not too dry, you want the salmon too dry and then you look out for your onion, your scotch bonnet pepper, your vinegar, your carrot and then you chew all of that sauce with the onion and everything off of it, oh my god. Woo. So I nearly reached to the head now. We'll still have some more. Yeah, we can get up. This is the head. So this head now, we have some meat in it. So we ain't gonna throw this head. We're gonna cut this head in two. And then we're gonna cook some salmon soup. One of this there, gonna put it, cut it in two. Put it in the fridge, in the freezer. Like that. It's gonna put it in the freezer, put it in a bag and put it in the freezer. And then, I just gonna boil some soup with this. Cause this is a lot of meat in these people. A lot of meat in this family. So don't throw with this. All right, let me clean up some of these mess what I have here now. I'm going to show you guys that beautiful salmon. I right, just cut up a while ago. Beautiful. Like I said guys, when I do this, I look up a salmon, it's no rush, you just take your time and do it. They work a little bit hard, but the result is amazing. The result is amazing guys. This is the tail, I ain't gonna throw that away. I'm gonna put that in that soup when I'm boiling that soup. Thank you guys for checking today and please hit that like button i really appreciate it and have a merry christmas and a prosperous new year guys and thanks for coming on my page today thanks for giving me the support i love you guys thank you very much my beautiful people for giving me the support from day one day in day out all of my old subscribers and from day one thank you guys very much for yourself and the support all of my new subscribers, them welcome to the family, my friend. Welcome to the family. We have a long way to go. We have a lot of different ideas. We have a lot of different recipe coming out. So hit that notification, people. So when I post a video, you guys will get it. So I'm just gonna. Wash this down, but it's gonna clean off some of it first before I wash it down. All right, let me show you guys what I'm talking about, guys. All right, my salmon finished now.
So this is salmon tail here, and this salmon head. As I said before, we're gonna use the head to boil some soup. I have one more head in the fridge there, so I'm gonna boil some soup in a week. So that is a beautiful salmon right there. Clean, wash, dry, slice up, ready to season. So I'm gonna season up that later. Let this stay there and rest. Beautiful, beautiful salmon, guys. Look at that, my beautiful people. Look at the color what that salmon has. Beautiful. Just wait if you guys buy a big salmon like this and you guys gonna clean up the salmon. As I said, make sure you rest, your body is already okay, you're not upset when you clean up the salmon because you're gonna hurt yourself. Just take your time, you get a small knife, you don't want a big knife, and take your time and scale that salmon right you. Just take your time, relax. Play some music, talk to somebody, or meditate on something, you just take your time and scale that salmon. And then after you clean out in the middle of the salmon, or you can clean in the middle of the salmon before, you guys cut it up. And when you finish scale it, cut off the fin. Got the fin and the, those things are very dangerous because you have some spike in it. The spike will run in your hand. When I was younger, I was scaling red snapper and one of them run right in my finger. Never forget that. So now I cut them off. So anytime you guys are gonna clean up fish like this, or any type of fish, cut off the fin at the back, the two fin at the side, the fin at the belly, cut off that one. Get off all of the fin off. We're gonna shout out to everyone who check in, check in today in Selvin Kitchen. Big shout out to you guys. And I hope you guys have a Merry Christmas and a prosperous new year. Because when I come on to Selvin Kitchen, guys, we're always doing something new. So thank you guys for watching. I really appreciate it. And I will see you guys tomorrow or later on. I think I'm going to do another live later on. I'm going to cook something. So I will see you guys later on. So take care from Selvin Kitchen. Have a Merry Christmas and a prosperous New Year, my beautiful people. And I will see you guys another time. Thank you guys very much again to check in on Selvin Kitchen. And please share the video. And please give me a thumbs up for the video, my beautiful people. But before you go, let me show you guys salmon what i'm talking about and you guys don't see my face as yet in it because a lot of people say where is your face where is your face where is your face give me a second here my beautiful people as i said guys i'm tired i come in from work this morning and i get a couple hours sleep and then i guess i have this salmon i take it out the fridge let it defrost and then i say all right then let me come on clean up the salmon i'll show you guys oh i prepare my salmon so thank you guys again to check in today in Selvin kitchen thank you guys very much and i will see you guys in the next video in Selvin kitchen guys all right don't go away as a people let me show you guys what i'm doing right here with this beautiful salmon uh, should I season up it right now? Uh, I think I'm going to season up this salmon right now. I think I'm going to season up it. But I have two people on, so I ain't going to go away as yet. I think I'm going to season up this fish. Yep, let me wash out this bowl here first and then I'm gonna I gotta season up this fish. Yep, I'm gonna season up this beautiful fish here. Because guys Oh my god, if I see this salmon here, oh looking at my beautiful people. Nice and beautiful piece of salmon way up there, guys. Beautiful. So what I gotta do now, I'm just gonna wash out this big bowl here. I'm gonna wash it out, and then after, I'm just gonna season up the salmon. I'm gonna show you guys what I'm season I put in that fish. 
So I'm gonna wash out this big bowl here. I'll show you guys right down here. So I'm gonna wash him out now, and then after I'm gonna season up this fish, I'm gonna leave him to marinate. This is a nice big piece of salmon, guys. It's a lot of fish. When I'm eating fish, you know, like my favorite meat is fish. I think my second favorite meat is lamb. I don't know if anybody like lamb like me, but sometimes when you're eating lamb, you have to eat lamb with it hot. But I don't like when it, you have to take it out and warm it up because lamb is very a fatty meat. Look at that beautiful salmon we have there. Beautiful. So now, guys, I'm just going to wash up some of these dishes over here now. I'm just going to wash them up if you guys can see me properly. So let me clear up some of these mess. But the place is kind of raw now, so you need to get most of this out of the way. I make some sari last night, guys. I want to show you guys in a minute. So the sari is there. You don't want to make your sari, as I said before, and let the sari there to mix it same thing. You want it steady, let it cool, let it rest. With all of that garlic, all of that everything. No, all of that, no, my apology about garlic. All of that ginger and everything like that to rest properly, to jar properly, to dissolve right in that sari. Gonna add some regular wine. Gonna add a little bit of white rum to it. Not too much white rum. Don't know if you guys have had sorrel before. Anybody have sorrel before? Can get me a comment, my beautiful people, and let me know. So now we're just gonna clean up some of these mess here first before I do anything like that. Come on, spray. So you know, when you look out for fish, if you just clean up the place with our fish, scrap raw. But I don't think salmon is raw like um, red snapper or um, parrot fish. Parrot fish, uh, in my opinion, parrot fish is one of the rawest fish. And mackerel fish. I'm just cleaning up some of this mess. Then I'm gonna seize up that fish. That fish can marinate for tomorrow. My, my mutton over there, I'm gonna clean up my mutton. I'll cook some curry goat tomorrow. Last year, Christmas, guys, I did have a bad Christmas. And I don't want this, um, I did have a, get a bad news last year, so I have to quarantine. And then when I do I another test again, my test was okay, I was fine. So the Christmas, I did two tests and the test was okay. So I heard a bad news, but when I heard a bad news like that, you have to quarantine because you have to take care of your family. You have to protect your family. And then I have to do another test again. And the two tests, and the two tests was come out perfect. So, so it goes, sometimes you get some bad, some results and the result not accurate. So you have to do another test again. And thank God the two tests what I do they come out negative. So right now we do a test every Monday and every Thursday. Certain things I cannot disclose on YouTube because it's against YouTube regulation. 
Just be careful what you're saying on YouTube. So, by the help of God, this year, thank God for life, that's the most important thing, we thank God for life. Because without life, we are nothing. Without the Almighty God, we are nothing. So the most important thing, we have to give the Almighty God thanks, we have to praise Him. We're still here, a lot of people didn't make it this year. And I have to give out my deepest sympathy, my condolence to anybody who lost anyone. But thank God for life. Life is very precious, my people. Life is very precious. So treat life and take care of each other. If you, eat, you guys have a little dispute, the argument, try and start it out the peaceful way. Because violence, everybody is a loser when they come out to violence. Everybody is a loser. No, they have no winner. So if you guys can resolve on a problem peacefully, that's the most important thing. So right now, guys, I'm just gonna clean up right here, right here, where I clean this fish. You know, when I clean fish, you don't have to clean your place because maybe I see some fish splashing there. You don't want that. You just wanna get everything off. You don't want your house to smell of fish. Lobster. I'm gonna take out the lobster and then defrost. I'm gonna do some garlic lobster tomorrow. I do a video already about lobster, garlic lobster in the air fryer, but I think I'm gonna do it in the oven this time, guys. I don't know if I'm gonna do a video as yet tomorrow because tomorrow I'm gonna be so busy. I don't know as yet. We're gonna do a video. What I'm cooking tomorrow. We're gonna cook some rice and peas. And maybe I cook some mashed potato. And some salad, some gammon, fish, curry goat, lobster. And I don't think I'm cooking any lamb this year. Alright. Right there is nice and clean also. I'm gonna dry out this big bowl here. I'm gonna use this big bowl here to season my fish. So guys, I'm gonna move the camera again so you guys can see what I'm doing. I'm gonna season up that fish in a minute. Season up with some all-purpose seasoning and some black pepper. And I'm gonna put some salt right on it, guys. Right there is that beautiful Salmon right here, guys. So I'm gonna dry up my bowl. So after I dry up my bowl, I just gonna. I think I'm gonna. I was gonna season up it later, let it rest. I just clean up it, just cut it up. I'm just gonna let let my fish rest first, but I think I'm gonna season up it. So I let it get a dry piece of paper. You wanna dry up your bowl. Try all of that excess water out of that bowl. Let's get a nice big bowl. Beautiful, guys. Beautiful. So now I'm just going to get some salt. Because when you're doing um, a big fish like this, guys, I need some salt. So I have my salt right here. I have my all-purpose season right here. Some onion powder, some garlic powder.
have some pepper I think I'm gonna put some I know that for the time being let that stay and marinate okay for the time being guys I'm just gonna add them in one by one like that beautiful see some man I think I'm gonna move over this camera like you guys can see right in that bowl what I'm doing give me a little time there guys oops yeah you guys can see what I'm doing thank you guys for checking today really appreciate it give me a second there guys I'm just running to the top Sorry about that, my beautiful people. Nature call, so I have to run. So what I'm gonna do now, guys, I'm just gonna add this salmon name in this big. I need a, guys, a lot of fish, so we need a bigger bowl. All right, what we're gonna do now, we're just gonna add them in to lie them down. So as soon as we're gonna put in a potion and then we're gonna add some salt on that. Nice, beautiful. I call this salmon steak. Beautiful piece of fish. But, but I don't think I'm gonna fry all of them one time, but I think I'm gonna season them up. So I can put them in the fridge and then maybe another time I'm just gonna take them out and fry them. But I know that when you, if you do like that, they're gonna get frozen and they're gonna get more water on them. So I don't think it's a good idea to season them up and put them in the freezer again. Because when they defrost, a lot of water gonna come on them. And when they fry them, no, that's gonna cause a problem. So before I do anything, I just gotta add some salt in on them. So I ain't gonna add all of them in one bowl at the same time. So I'm gonna put some of them in this bowl and some of them in this bowl. Because someone is a thing when they season up, you cannot just do like that with your hand. You cannot do like that. Because if you do like that, you're gonna break them up. You don't want to do that. Okay. The skin is a little bit hard, but it's a very delicate fish. So we just add a little bit of salt to them. We can add salt to us on one side. There's no problem. Okay, if you fry your fish and your fish don't have any salt on it, you ain't gonna taste nice because this is salmon we're doing. You know, sprinkle a little bit of salt all over them just like gently sprinkle a little bit of salt and in the next bowl if any excess water for that you just use a piece of paper towel and dry up that excess water uh, we don't want no water be in our bowl to so dry all of that excess water As I said, guys, there's some that could call like sponge, you suck up a lot of water. So you want to eliminate 99% of that water if you can. Just use a piece of dry piece of paper towel. 
and let's eliminate most of that water off of that salmon. Lovely. All right, here we go again. So we're just gonna sprinkle a little bit of salt over this one. You don't want too much salt, but you have to have some salt over the salmon when you refrain your salmon, guys. You sprinkle it gently over it. Had the cold, cold salt, um, salt, but um, I don't want to do that one. That one is too coarse. Lovely. So right now, I'm just gonna add some pepper. We're gonna turn them over on the next side. Angle them gently, guys. Don't angle the salmon too rough. You don't want the meat to break up. It's a very delicate fish. Because I remember we sliced them up already. And we don't want to angle them too rough to break them up. I'm gonna shout out to my courier friend. How are you, my sister? See, you was on your live last night. Was I was at work. Work was killing me last night, my sister. So big shout out to my Korea friend, Flugo Mama. Thank you for coming, my sister. How are you today? Merry Christmas when it come and a prosperous new year. So now I had some black pepper on them and I had some salt on them. So I'm just gonna turn over to the next side, add a little more black salt. Can add a little more black pepper to it before I had any more powder season to it. You know that salmon, you cannot put too much season in it. You don't want to take away that flavor from that salmon. Just, just put your season in gently because you know that we're going to look out for the, the, the scotch bunny pepper with the onion and that carrot with that pimento allspice. Because when we look out for that pimento allspice with that scotch bunny pepper with that onion, and that vinegar, and we're gonna sprinkle that over it. Oh my god. I'm telling you, just sprinkle a little bit of salt over it. Take your time, sprinkle your salt over it. As I said about salmon, you cannot mix, you cannot rough up salmon. Just take your time when you're doing it, guys. Gently. Do it a little bit of care with love. If you're cooking, cook with love. And your food will come out beautiful and delicious. If you don't cook with love, no, don't cook when you're upset or when you're hungry. The food ain't gonna come out nice. Cook it a little bit of love. I was cooking when I was small in the people. I was cooking when I was around 10 years old. My mom always called me and said, Salvin, come here boy. Go and peel some banana. Go and peel some flour. Go and peel some Potato. I'm gonna have you know the garlic powder. It's a little bit of garlic powder. Go and peel some potato. But she always clean up the meat and then I always prepare like the food kind. And sometimes she tell me, oh, I go and spin around the food in the pot. And I always go there. Sometimes I steal one dumpling. She don't know that I steal the dumpling. I put it in my pocket. <laughs> and then I steal the dumpling and I run away with the dumpling in my pocket. <laughs> and then I remember one time I was I was hungry and she tell me, go stir the pot. She was cooking curry chicken and dumpling and green banana and potato with bread food. I don't know if you guys ever hit boiled bread food before. So she sent me go stir the pot. And I go stir the pot and then I steal up one of the dumpling guys. And I put the dumpling in my pocket because if you catch me when I steal in that dumpling, you know, guys, I'm telling you, a proper beating, you know. So you get a slap. So I steal the dumpling and put it in my pocket, and that bloody dumpling catch on my leg, and it was burning me. And guys, a fire was coming through my eyes. But that dumpling was burning me. And I said, Mama, I'll soon be back. She said, Where are you going? I said, I'm going to the toilet. That you don't know that I have the dumpling in my pocket, but the dumpling is burning. I know I'm putting some. Garlic powder. The dumpling was burning me, people. On that day, I never steal another dumpling out of that pot again. Trust me. 
So from that day, I love to cook. Yep. I love to cook, guys. I love to try different food. Other people, different type of food. Other country, different type of food. I want to sh shout out to my Philippines friends, them. Big shout out to you guys. Mega, mega, mega shout out to all of my Philippine friends, them. Korea Mama, big shout out to you as well. I think today's your birthday. Happy birthday, Korea Mama. I think so. I don't 100% sure. But I think today is your birthday. If it's your birthday, my sister, I apologize. No, guys, I'm going to add in some all purpose season. I apologize, my sister. Happy birthday to you. And I hope you live to see many, many, many more birthday. And I hope 2022 coming will make you stronger and better for you and your family. I don't 100% sure if I pass your birthday already, my sister, but if it's your birthday today, happy birthday to you. And if your birthday yesterday, happy belated birthday from Selvin. So now, guys, I just had in some all purpose season. You don't want to add in, you don't want to hover power your fish with your too many season. So now I'm just going to use my hand and just take time rubbing my season in my fish to massage the season gently in that salmon fish. It, as I said before, you don't want to do like that. You don't want to break up your fish. You want to handle your fish gently. Unless you're frying like a snapper fish or a parrot fish or any type of fish, you can do like that. But the salmon is very gently. Just treat it with love. Then I'm going to turn them over again. I'm going to add a little bit more all-purpose season and on this side because I had some on this side the next side already so I'm gonna turn them right over beautiful look at that kind of like salmon steak guys beautiful so just turn them right over so I'm gonna season up these and then I gotta I ain't gonna put them in the in the in freezer. I'm gonna put them in the fridge, letting it stay overnight and marinate properly. So as I said before, the season is here. I'm gonna use my hand like this, just massage the season right in. That that meat, the all-purpose season, that salt, the garlic powder. Just take time and massage it right in that meat, right in that layer of that meat. Just take your time and just massage it right in. And then what we're going to do now, we're just going to turn over this side. And turn over the both side. I don't know what you guys are going to have for Christmas. Anything you're having for Christmas, I hope it's delicious. I know that's going to be delicious because you guys are going to cook it. You're going to be tasty. I was going to bake a cake, guys. But I'm not in the mood this year to bake a cake. I always bake like... Christmas cake and give my friends them. But you know that when you're baking cake, it takes a lot of time and energy. Because when I'm baking cake, I be like we're on 10 cake. Christmas um, Christmas cake. We call it black cake. So now I'm just gonna add a little bit of more all-purpose season on this side. So I didn't on the next side already and I turn them over. Yes, guys, so this year I decide said. I don't feel it. I don't feel a Christmas all now. I'm trying my best to feel it's Christmas, but I still don't feel it Christmas all now. I try my 100% best. But thank God for life, as I say again. But next week, next week, if God spare my life, I'm going to bake a corn milk pudding. Sorry, my people, I'm going to sneeze in because it's up. Black pepper, ooh, ooh. Black pepper always make me sneeze, guys. So now, I had in the all-purpose season. I'm gonna wash my hand a bit. I had in the all-purpose season. Gonna add a little, a little bit more pepper over that. And I'm just going to take my time now and massage the next side. I want to massage all of that season in that salmon. So I'm going to massage all of that season right in that fish, my beautiful people. 
You know what I feel like to do, guys? I just feel like to have a little piece of this salmon in the hair fryer. Had a little piece of this salmon in the hair fryer and fit. Oh, it tastes. Oh, it would have come out. So, massage all of that season right in that meat of that salmon. It's like that. The black pepper, the all purple season. So the last thing I'm gonna add, I'm gonna add a little bit more of that onion powder and that garlic powder on this side. Just a little sprinkle, cause you don't want to overcome, over well your, your salmon. You don't want to take out the flavor from that salmon. Just a little bit of sprinkle. You don't want to dash it in like that, just a little sprinkle. That's it. We're gonna add some a little bit more onion powder, just a little bit of sprinkle. Just like that, my beautiful people. That's it. So now my fish now. My fish fully seasoned now. You don't want to add in so much season. I'm gonna add in no coloring, nothing like that. Stay same like that. When you fry, you're gonna be golden brown. You have a nice crispy golden color. Well, golden brown. I don't know where I get that from. But I think I'm gonna get my ear fryer, guys. I'm hungry. I think I'm gonna add a little piece in the ear fryer. Bloody hell, guys, ear fry salmon. Put a good recipe about that, you know? Since you guys are here, same way, I ain't going nowhere for the time being. We're gonna add, let me put up this, get this out of the way. Get my ear fryer. I think I'm gonna add a ear fryer salmon. I look for some breakfast in it this morning. Let me rinse up my ear fryer. I just had some breakfast in it. This was the best buy ear fryer we bought, guys. This ear fryer was beautiful. Ear fryer do a lot of job. Save if I'm turning on the home. Save if I'm cook something in the stove. You want to cook something quickly, just put it in the ear fryer. So I'm gonna add a little piece of that salmon in yeah, that ear fryer, guys. I'm hungry. I don't know about you guys, but I am. I feel like I was gonna cook the salmon tomorrow, but I think I'm gonna add a little piece in the ear fryer. I'm gonna see how that salmon turn out in that ear fryer. But I never have ear fried salmon before. I'm gonna do a recipe about that, but for today. Gonna add a little piece in the air fryer. So don't go away, guys. Stay right there. Let me bring out this air fryer. Air fryer, salmon. The idea is flashing my head, in guys. This come in my head a while. I can't go. I think I'm gonna do a recipe with that. But for the time being, let me give this ear fryer a, a, a look a ring salt right here. I'm gonna have a piece of salmon in that ear fryer right now. I'm gonna test out season if it's seasoned properly. But I know it's seasoned properly, but I'm still gonna add a little piece in the ear fryer. Let me get my ear fryer and bring it over here, guys. Give me a second, dear people. Give me a second. Don't go away. Don't touch that dial, my people. Stay right there. Oops. I'm 
my battery is dying what's going on here oops sorry guys like the battery is dying I have 20 minutes all right 20 minutes I have another tw 20 minutes guys I have 20 minutes to spare with you guys 20 minutes I have 20 minutes leave and up on my battery and it's gonna hide my ear fryer over here right here give me a second here people let me plug it in so I have 20 minutes all right the ear fryer there and I let it warm up So let my ear for you warm up my beautiful people are gonna have a bit of summon in it Woo! right in that ear fryer you guys where is that doing that rag oops right over here So yes, my beautiful people, just give it a little shine up, little bit of that dust on it. All right, guys. So now, I just gonna add a piece of salmon in that ear fry. This salmon, fresh salmon, just season up. Was gonna leave it to marinate overnight, but no, no, I just gonna add some. Here. it warm up a bit more give it a couple more seconds then let it warm up don't go away people don't go away you're gonna see this beautiful salmon gonna come out of this year fryer then I have some olive oil sprayer Alright, warm up. So I'm gonna put a little bit of olive oil spray in it, guys. And then I'm gonna add a piece of salmon in it, my beautiful people. Ooh, look at that, guys. I think I'm gonna add another piece. Maybe my daughter one piece. I'm gonna add two pieces. Give them a little bit of space. They don't want them too cruddy. It's gonna take that off a of, of, I have a warm, I'm gonna, gonna add it 20 minutes. Anybody have a spare device, guys, please check out my playlist, guys. I have a limited, limited time lead. I have I need to get 1000 double H. So anybody have a spare device, please check out my playlist. My playlist is there. I have a lot of video on my playlist. I have some awesome, delicious recipe. So guys, please check out my playlist. Anybody have a spare device? Anybody at home doing nothing? Just click on my playlist, guys, and let it play, please. I need, I need to get 1000 double H. So if you guys can click on it, I really appreciate it and I thank you guys a lot. And guys, I just gonna spray some, a little bit of olive oil on it. that year friends so anybody of a spare device people please check out my playlist and I have some long videos there as well some 10 hours video so if you don't want to check out the playlist I have some long videos there you guys can check it out as well thank you guys very much and I want to shout out to Korea mama big up yourself my sister Fugu mama big up yourself my sister 
and shout out to my sister in America. Big up yourself, my sister. Thank you guys to show up. Thank you guys to come. Praise the Lord, my sister. Anybody at church today? All right. Some of that fish now. Me some meanwhile that in the air fryer. Let's go and look after. I'm just going to put these in a bowl. I want to add them into the, the freezer. Let me put my air fryer back more so you guys can see what I'm doing here. I have around 15 minutes leave on my battery. I have a, a receiver there plugged in my phone. So if I plug up the receiver, you guys can hear me properly. I just put this nice, beautiful salmon right here. Remember guys, salmon is not a fish will take long to cook. Ooh, you can smell that seasoning that salmon already. Let me have a look at my daughter. She, she, okay, give me a second here, guys. Yeah, it looks like she's fine. So I'm going to have a bowl. I'm going to have these salmon in a bowl. I'm going to put them in the fridge. I'm going to let them stay there and nice and marinate properly. Because... Tomorrow, then going on the fire, guys. So I'm just gonna put them in this bowl here, guys. Let, let, see if you guys can see what I'm doing properly. Yep. So I'm gonna give that around 10 minutes on this side before I check it. All right, we're gonna have these salmon in this bowl here, guys. We're gonna have them in gently. Oh, that beautiful salmon steak there. Don't know if this bowl can hold all of them, but it's gonna have some of them in it. Smaller piece, them can go at the side. So when you seal this now, the season, the scent of the season, the smell of the season don't evaporate. Everything will stay right there and marinate this fish right through. I think maybe, maybe with the jackpot here, people, maybe we can hold it. Nicely, nicely. Oh yes, my people, look at that, guys. Look at that. It will everything. So now what I'm gonna do now? I'm just gonna put on the lid on that. Look at that. It's gonna put on the lid on that and seal that properly. So this now gonna go in the fridge in a minute. You don't want to put that back in the freezer because you don't want them to frozen again and you're going to take them out and you're going to defrost them. They're going to form water and you don't want that. So put them, put them in a bowl and put them in the freezer. So now I'm going to wash up these two big bowls over here. Well, let me check on that salmon. Oh yes, look at that my beautiful people. Look at that. Look at that. Meanwhile, that is cooking. Let me check down on that. Hello, my sister. Thank you for coming. How are you? Hope you have a good Christmas. Big shout out to you. Hope you have a good Christmas and a prosperous new year when it comes. My courier mama, when are you going to do another live again? Let me know, darling. Because. I go back to work Christmas night and I'm off Boxing Day. I see you on your live last night, but I I I click in, then I leave the phone to run for a couple run, run half an hour. 
but uh, the work was against me last night. So you know that um, I work at night. So like when a lot, of, a lot of people doing their live, sometimes it's clicking for around 20 minutes or one half an hour. Some of the time I just leave the phone here to run because I cannot watch my phone properly because the camera is right over my head. And if they see you on your phone and you're working, you're in big trouble. So now I'm going to wash up these now with a little bit of bleach. Get us all of that fish scent. As I said guys, a happy clean kitchen is a happy kitchen. Two, two more minutes, I'm going to check that, I'm going to turn it around. But remember, when salmon is cooking, guys, and you're going to turn it around, if you be careful, because the salmon is a very delicate fish, easy to break up. So just wash these, get these out of the way, pat them away. I have another job to do. I have, uh, I'm going to clean up my mutton, my goat meat. So I want to clean up everything today. And I season a bit, put it in the fridge. So tomorrow now, when I wake up now, I don't have to uh, rush to clean up this and clean up that. Everything already seasoned already, everything already prepared already. Sorry guys. And then, that's what I'm going to do. Alright, that in your nine minutes now, I'm just going to look on that salmon now, so that salmon is turning out. Where is my small holder? Okay guys, we're going to go right in now. In there, I don't want it to, don't want it to stuck. Look a bit stuck in here, guys. Let me get some skin. I want to get something to release that salmon skin there. I don't want it to break up. Not my beautiful people, that's what I'm talking about. This is hot, so let's get something and press underneath the bottom. Oh my god, it's kind of break off a bit there. I didn't want that. All right, we're gonna take my time, let me release it a bit, take my time, and turn it right over. Oh, yes. Some break break a bit. I didn't want it to break, but I think it didn't enough space now in this year fryer for it. It's too big piece of salmon. All right, give it another five minutes there, car. It look cook already. Give it another five minutes. So this one now, I just gonna have these in the freezer. So what I'm I'm gonna cook some. Salmon soup next week. I may be in a week I cook it. I don't know. Today's when? Today's Friday. Saturday. Everything I'm gonna have enough, enough food to eat <laughs> for Friday and Saturday. I think maybe Sunday or Monday. I'm gonna cook those salmon soup. Hello my friend, thank you for coming and have a Merry Christmas and a prosperous New Year. So, 
then let me get a plate and get a piece of those salmon guys. As I said guys, salmon don't take long to cook. It's a very one of, one of, one of the easiest fish to cook, salmon. Another two minutes, I'm gonna take off that one, guys. Smell like salmon from a mile. One more minute, one more minute. As I say guys, when you're cooking, you have to be happy. You cannot be sad. Just relax and cook. Enjoy the moment. Enjoy the, the time in your kitchen. Enjoy what you're doing. Just feel happy when you're cooking. I mean, I'm a happy fella. I'm a very happy guy. I don't, I don't um, cook with hunger or cook with vexation or nothing like that. I'm a happy guy when I'm cooking. Very happy. So now guys, I'm gonna take a little bit of that salmon out. That salmon is ready. So yes, my beautiful people, it's gonna take out the salmon. And thank you guys for coming, I really appreciate it. And I hope you guys have a beautiful and a good Christmas. And I hope you guys have a lot to eat, but don't drink too much. If you drink, don't drive. And if you, and if you drive, don't drink, my beautiful people. Okay, guys? Because I don't want to hear that I lose any of my friends then over the holiday. So if you drink, don't drive. And if you drive, don't drink. So I'm gonna give that salmon another minute before I take it out.
All right, let me see what's going on here. Oh yes, my people, look on that. That's what I'm. That's what we're looking for, though. Golden brown. Oh, the people don't want to come out. Golden brown, my people. Golden brown. Moment of truth, my beautiful people. Moment of truth. Let me get a fork. Moment of truth, guys. Let me see. You guys can see that beautiful summer. Oh my god, look at that. Let me turn this over. Let you guys can see that. Guys, I wasn't gonna do this today. I was gonna do this another day. But since you guys are here, look at that golden brown salmon disc mode that year fryer, guys. This come out of that year fryer. I was gonna clean up the salmon, seize up the salmon, put the salmon in the fridge to marinate properly with all of that seasoning. And then tomorrow, I'm gonna escape salmon fish to prepare for tomorrow, guys. But I wasn't gonna put a piece in the air fryer, but I'm hungry. So I was like, all right, let me have a little piece and try it if it's well seasoned. If I need any more seasoning, any more salt, I can add some more on it. But let me try it right now, guys. Let me try it. First thing, oh, this. Look on the skin, crispy and nice. Oh my God. Let me be no at you, guys. Let me be no at you. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm. Mm -mm. Beautiful, my people. But be careful at like the bone, guys. Someone having bone in it, so be careful when you're eating it. Mm. It's hot, guys. This come out very hot. That's why I said, my people, don't have too many seasoning. You don't want to take over that. You don't want to overwhelm it with that too many seasoning. You don't want to take the salmon flavor. You don't want to take the taste what that salmon gives you. So don't put too much seasoning in it. Don't add no food coloring or nothing like that. Beautiful like that. Look at that. Let's melt right over here, my people. Mm. We should be guys was here to try some of this. Mm. Beautiful, my people. Beautiful. Let me move back this a bit, guys. And thanks anybody who check in today, guys. Really appreciate it. Beautiful, guys. Beautiful. Beautiful. Mm. This is nice, my people. This is nice. You like crackling, crunchy. That salmon skin give you. Can you put it in the air fryer? No oil. You spray a little bit of olive oil over it, and you give it a nice, nice crackling, crunchy. That we're looking for. I don't really eat. Salmon skin in the bottom. This one is nice and crunchy and crackly. Oh, yes. Yeah. This is beautiful. It's 
clothes for my people. As I said, mind the bone, the hard work where you do, clean up that salmon will pay off. When I'm getting fish, I like to get a big fish. As long as I do, it's a small fish. Small fish having too much bone. The big fish now have bigger bone, but you can see properly. Like a salmon now are a, a red snapper, a parrot fish, doctor fish. You can eat it like that. You have to fine tune it properly because the bone, bone will kill you. Mm. Mm. You just eat a whole fish like this. This is beautiful. Look at those melt off of the food. Look at that. Cook right through. I think I give it about 13 minutes. 13 minutes in the air fryer, guys. You don't want to give it more than that. 13 minutes. Mm, 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 mm. 13 minutes to give it. And it's all going away. Yes. I have another piece of salmon in here, guys. But I'm gonna give my daughter that piece. I'm gonna take time and take out the bones out of it. Thank you guys for coming. Mm -mm. Salmon is lovely, my people. Lovely. Don't if you guys like someone like me. Look at that. That two pieces in here. I just want to take it out. I don't want to leave that one. Mm -hmm. So, thank you guys for coming today. I really appreciate it. Thank you guys for showing me the love. As I said before, guys, anybody who has a spare device, please check out my playlist. I have a thousand to get. Pardon me, I don't have long. So anybody have a playlist, uh, spare device, please check out my playlist. I really appreciate it. And I have some long videos there. If you guys have a spare device, we guys are using, just show them at home, just plug it in and just let it play. I really appreciate it. And thank you guys very much to check in today in Selvin Kitchen. If it cannot be good, be careful and try 100% to be good. And if you drive, don't drink. And if you drink, don't drive. Have a wonderful, beautiful, loving Christmas. I will see you guys before New Year's. And you guys stay safe. I want to see everybody on YouTube, on well, YouTube next year and the New Year. So stay safe. Take care of each other. Show each other love, help who you can help in life. Because in this life, we cannot live for ourselves alone. And remember, guys, always keep the Almighty God in front of us in anything we do. If you live in your home, pray the Almighty God is take you safe, take you back safe at home. You go to your bed, you say a word of prayer. Say a word of prayer for your friends, then. Don't pray for yourself alone. Don't be selfish. Pray, pray for your family and your friends. Because Without the Almighty God, we are nothing. So I've already a prayer for your friends then. I've already a prayer for your family. I've already a prayer for yourself. And and I'll see you guys in the next video in Selvin Kitchen. And please share and like the video, guys, with your friends and family. And have a Merry Christmas and a prosperous New Year. And you know that Selvin Kitchen 
love you guys very much because right now I'm just gonna clean up this goat meat and I'm gonna clean up the gammon. So I have a gammon here, I have a goat meat to clean up, I have a lot, a lot of job to do. So I will see you guys next time and take care of yourself. Love and peace. I'm Selvin Kitchen. Love you guys. And I will see you guys in the next video. I think it's tomorrow. And have a Merry Christmas and a prosperous New Year, my family. And as I said again, anybody have a spare device, please check out my playlist. If you know anybody have a spare device, friends, family, tell them about it. I really appreciate it. Okay, guys? And take care. A lot of love from Selvin Kitchen. Peace. And I will see you guys in the next video in Selvin Kitchen coming up soon. Okay, guys? Take care. And I will see you guys next time. Bye. A lot of love from Selvin Kitchen.